everybody, this is Limitless KRGNN, and we're doing another cool review this week. <clears throat> and this is from Gamera, the new Netflix original series. And this is SH Monster Arts Gamera 2023 from Gamera Rebirth from the Netflix uh, well anime series that I have seen. It looks pretty cool. I'm just not a fan of the computer animation style. That's just my thing. But the Gamera itself looks really awesome. I do like the design and figure itself. And, of course, I'll tell you how much I got it and where. Uh, of course, this thing has already come out. I've done reviews of it, but this is just my review. If you guys are interested, curious about it. Um, but, yeah, like I said, this already came out at Netflix. I've almost finished the series. I actually wait when I can see it because I have, uh, I have, I'm pretty busy. And I actually watch this with my girlfriend, so it's only, it's only when we're both free that we can watch it. So, I think I'm on, like, an episode six or seven uh, but, yeah, like I said, the story's good. Now, Gamera, again, Gamera started as a one-time, like, monster destruction, but over the time, it became, like, a kid-friendly monster, you know, a protector of mankind and also of kids. And that's what has gone now to this version. And that's one of the reasons I always loved Gamera, because I always loved turtles in general, from Ninja Turtles to anything Monster Turtles. I just loved. So, when, you know, Gam I grew up with Godzilla, watching Godzilla and Gamera. And Gamera's my second in, when it comes to the coolest kaiju monsters. But yeah, so the box itself, it has a really nice design. It has Gamera, as you can see that. And in the back actually shows you, it shows you a glimpse of the, this is something that they're doing new now. I noticed that uh, Monster Arts is doing through Bandai, they, they, have, they actually show you the monster itself. But yeah, and this is really cool. So uh, let's open this baby up. And check out all the accessories and everything that comes inside with it. Alright guys, so it comes with this stand and it's supposed to mimic him flying. And it has this really cool, like, see-through kind of like neon greenish, bluish, well not, just bluish, uh, greenish effect with the speed of he's going when he's flying. I like this, it's really cool that they actually have this. And here's his actual wings. His when his arms turn to wings, these things are pretty sharp. The paint on this, uh, I can tell right away by the just by the wings. It's um, it's I don't know, I don't know. The texture, the design of this is nice, but the the plastic and the material is is too glossy, too shiny for me. I prefer him to be kind of like a flat color because it makes it look more organic. Oh, the word I'm looking for is organic. But, um, mm, yeah. And then the same thing for the body. The body has that same kind of, has a nice scope. And the, the, it's a nice touch that they added a little bit of green. But the, the material they're using, it's not a uh, flat color. It's a shiny color. And it's, um, yeah, I'm not digging it. So this part goes in the bottom to represent when he's flying his, and his feet close in. It's really cool they added that. But that's pretty much it. Um... My bad. I'm also, I forgot this part too. This part goes up here. This is actually to hold the stomach like this once it's set up. But yeah, so that's it. That's all the parts, the accessories it comes with. So let's get a better look at the figure itself, scope wise. Um, like I said, when I saw earlier, I saw the 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 wings and the bottom chest. I noticed that this thing has nice scope, detail scope on this. But when it comes to lagging, it's the I guess the material they used to paint this figure, or not the figure. I think the plastic itself, or maybe it is the paint. I don't know. But it has like a really shiny gloss to it, and I prefer him to be like a flat color, just to be more organic looking, you know. So. It just it, it just goes with him his style for me but yeah so his chest has that glowing neon like he has you know a cool power and it's cool that it has that effect 
I think it would be cooler. It was kind of see-through. I mean, you could put like a, a light in there. I think that would be cool, too. But it's still pretty cool. The show itself is very, very detailed. This thing is sick looking. Um, so, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. When I, again, the scope on this thing is amazing. With For me, that's a little like off-putting is that the, the material itself it has like a black color. So let's look at his face. His face itself is really nice. I do like that. <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah. All right, guys. So let's test the articulation. So um, he does have a, quite a nice articulation, but you have to understand he is limited because of the way he's designed. But yeah, just giving you guys a heads up. So he does have a bow drum right here. It seems like he does have some articulation right here, but not much, just a little bit. I don't know exactly what that is right there. He does have a little bit of board joint there. He doesn't quite bend all the way. I think that's the whole point when there's these little gaps. Because he doesn't actually, his arms don't really bend all the way. They do move to the side. Um, but no, it's really to, a, to an extent. So I'm guessing all of these are little tiny board joints and they give some articulation to an extent. Um, he does have quite an amazing neck articulation right there. You can see he has levels. Oh, yeah, this thing you can tell has a lot of little joint, ball joints. So he has a really amazing of when it comes to articulation when it comes to his neck to his head. That's really cool. Um, again, bold, has a ball joint there, so he has more articulation to his shoulder and to his actual chest connected to his shoulder and he has a little bit of articulation each of them but not quite that much and I don't want to push it too much because it you know they do to break over time um kick wise he doesn't he this is how much you can spread uh, uh, again he does have some articulation in each piece you could tell that it does kind of move a little to so give it some other articulation but not so much and it's due to the design and the scope on this figure so just expect that some Monsters and Godzilla's and in general of the SH Monster Arts figures have a lack of articulation because it has nothing to do with the just the detail. I mean, it has to do with the scope of the figure itself. So it's you kind of already expect that if you haven't never collected any SH Monster figures. Um, the it has also the tail itself has a bow joint, bow joint right here, a bow joint there, and bow joint there. Mine comes off a little bit easy. It's kind of loose. But yeah, so that's it. Uh, your circulation is not that bad. It's not that amazing, but it's not that bad. He does have, like I said, he does look like this, like this. His arms do go down, they do go up. He does bend to a certain amount. Not too much. He does turn to the side like that. Alright, so now this uh, transform into his flight mode. And what I saw in the book, you have to kind of open this baby up a little. And his legs do come off once you get his skis loose. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. So there are three pieces to this. It's uh, crazy how this works. This part's a little tricky. Hold on. I'll be back. All right. So this is the body to flight mode. Um, I just took out the pieces. So it should be. I do apologize. <laughs> the camera's blocking my vision a little bit. So it's hard. So that clicked in. Um, the, if I'm not mistaken, the wings, the wings should go like. I just want to put it right. So give me a minute, guys. The wings should go like this. I think. Actually, nope, nope. There. Okay. Alright, 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 everything's going right. So the neck part came off really easily. So just keep that in mind. Hope I didn't break it. I think it goes like this. And I think it goes like this. Yeah. Whoa. My bad guys, hold on. Alright guys, so this is how it looks. I just decided to do it without like showing you because I was <laughs> I was struggling a little. Uh, this head popped out, and it took forever to pop it back in. But man, this thing looks sick. I freaking love him in his fly mode. He looks so, so freaking awesome. I'm sorry, guys. I'm nerding out right now. It's just 
I always loved him when he flies, especially when he does the UFO with the flames coming out. I thought that was so cool. But I know when they did, like, in the 90s, when they brought him back, and he they changed him up a little bit. They give him that kind of flying, and I really love him flying. I, I, I'm definitely going to have him display. Sometimes, mostly flying mode. I just love how he looks flying mode. He looks so sick. <laughs> uh, but, of course, we're going to do a short more look at it so you guys can see it. So that's it guys, it's just a short video just to show this video, this thing is really cool. It does have some flaws when it comes to, like I said, I don't like how it's kind of glossy, I wish this figure was more like a flat color to give it that more organic look. Um, of course I'll tell you how much I got and where you can get it. As of right now, you just, you, there are companies you can get it, you can get it through Big Bad Tour Store, uh, Entertainment Earth. Um, and also you could buy these third companies through eBay and... Uh, Maybe some plant, some in Japan as well. They'll probably gonna be a little bit cheaper in Japan, but they are probably gonna charge you for shipping fees. I got this through my car for actually a really good deal. I think I pay one hundred five for it, and then like another five or ten dollars shipping for this. So it's a heck of a good deal. Um, usually he goes on third parties or eBay for about. 150, 160, 170, and it's because this is really a, a nice camera. There have been two other versions of Monster's camera, but this is more like an anime style version, and it's really cool. I, I get why a lot of people really want to get this. Um, and for the price, it's pretty expensive. Um, but sometimes you get lucky, and that's how I got lucky in my car. Now, this is pre owned, but the guy. It seemed like he only kept it for less than a month or two. I don't know. Maybe he kept it only for a couple of months. But I'm happy to finally have this in my collection. He's going to be out of the other SH Monster Arts figures I have Kaiju figures from. Pretty much old oh, Godzilla really. And this is technically my first Gamera figure. I had some figures in the past when I was a kid. But I lost those. So to actually have a, finally have an actually SH Monster Arts figure is really cool. To have this to my collection. I'm definitely going to display this. Now, again, his price is pretty expensive. So keep in mind, you are going to get him. And now, if you get lucky like I did, like I said, sometimes you can get you get lucky on Macari and get him for an awesome deal like I did. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. This is Limitless KRG and signing out. Like I always say, any way to help each other up, put a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, any way to help the channel up. And like I always say, adios and bye.